Thursday night, the five seed Marquette Golden Eagles played in their first Big East semifinals matchup since 2007. And against the number one DePaul Blue Demons, there was no shortage of scoring, but the Blue Demons would clip the Golden Eagles 100 to 90. I thought our players gave everything they had. Uh, it was really hard to get in a rhythm in that first half. The, the fouls, when you have four players with three fouls, and you just have to change your game plan. It's very difficult. And then they get, you know, then they are up 17. But I thought we came out with a lot of heart and we, we just, I think we ran out of gas. With the lights shining the brightest on the national stage Monday, the Golden Eagles opened the game with a dismal first half. They would turn the ball over 10 times and rack up 16 fouls before hitting the locker rooms for halftime. Down by 17 points at the break, they would endure a slow start to the second half and never pick up enough steam to get back in the game. The closest they would come back was six points down with a minute to play. This matchup ultimately came down to ball control and free throws, which neither was in MU's favor. Totaling 17 turnovers and attempting 16 fewer free throws than DePaul, Marquette found themselves on the losing end of a big game. This time we didn't come out on top, but we fought till the end. And um, I'm proud of our team, the way we came back. And it didn't end up for us, but um, there's a great future ahead with the people on this team for sure. While they live and die as a team, three individual statistical performances stuck out for Mark at Monday night. Senior guard Katie Young led MU in scoring with 25 points and collected seven rebounds. Senior forward Catherine Plouffe notched her 13th double-double of the season with 19 points and a career-high 17 rebounds. And sophomore guard Brooklyn Pomeroy tallied a career-best 21 points and dished out seven dimes for the Golden Eagles in this high-scoring, high-intensity battle with DePaul. I think the Big East needs a whole lot more respect than it's getting nationally. Um, I, I just think, you know, people look at other conferences and they're talking about seven, eight teams at this conference, and I would just love for the opportunity for our four and five and three teams to play what they're saying should go to the tournament. So uh, I just hope the committee has eyes wide open to how good this league is and the people that need to be representing the tournament when you talk about the best teams and best players and playing your best basketball. Marquette will await selection Sunday to see if they make the NCAA tournament, but should they not, their next matchup would be the first round of the women's NIT. Reporting from the All-State Arena, Mike Sanciolo, MUTV Sports.